had rallied a whole team of people together to walk in with me. I think it's pretty powerful when there's the head of the Hells Angels. I know there was a couple ex-cons, Danny being one. I heard the group she was with were like Hells Angels kind of guys. Hi, Chris. Hello, Danielle. I just wanted to say that I'm really glad that we have this opportunity to come here. You're home. Happy to have To have the benefit, and, um, We're all and I greatly appreciate it. Thank no you so much. I, I wanted to shake his hand. Basically, like a little psychological F you. I'm walking in the door at your second home, your business. It felt good. Chris! Mrs. Granitel. Hi, honey. Hello. How are Thank you? Thank you. Come say hi to me. How are you? How's my son's best friend? He's very, very well. Yeah? You yeah. look handsome. Thank you. You look yeah. beautiful yourself. Thank you. Going to a wonderful fundraiser. You're in for a surprise. I am? Might be a little... What kind of surprise? They were dressed very glamorously. However, the organization that was running the event was a hunter's group. The grand prize of the night was a shotgun. So they were going to be in for a surprise. This is Granitel. He goes, you're in for a surprise. I go, who are we? Is that what he says? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. The big surprise inside waiting for me. And he was very sadistic when he said, oh, it's a big surprise. You'll see. Right then and there, you knew whose son that was. Inside, our table was nowhere to be found. And immediately, Kim started saying, oh, was that the big surprise Chris was referring to? They had no tables for any of us. It's ridiculous. Danielle had some kind of crazy entourage where there were 10, 20 people that did not pay, and there's nothing good that can come out of people coming unannounced. We just went down to the office, we opened the door, and we said, get upstairs and put some f tables on. Good. We came running up here to the tables. Good. This is like ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The people who were throwing the event did not have a table for her. The brownstone's not in charge of that. They give them the seating chart. All they do is put up the amount of tables they're told to put up. So when you know she was making a scene that she didn't have a place to sit with her entourage, my husband told me that he scrambled to put together a table and make her happy. I heard that Danielle was upset because the table was like behind the podium or something, and it still wasn't good enough for her. And then I think that was the last straw where the people were throwing the event, and they were like, you know what? We just want her out of here. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. How crazy are you? My husband has worked so hard to build this business. It's not a joke. It's not funny. Grow up. People of this establishment should be ashamed of themselves. This was about a baby. I don't want Probably the healthiest for me if I get my friends and we gather ourselves and go. I just want to leave with dignity. And there's nothing going to be dignified if these boys cut loose. Nothing. Danielle's a very troubled lady. You know, she's upset with Caroline and she wants to do something to her. But that's my husband's place of business. I mean, that's how we survive. You don't do that. In the parking lot said to Kim, you're in for a big surprise in there. Is that what she said? That's what he said to her. So I guess that was our surprise upstairs? Yes. That's what Chris said to you? Chris said, you're in for a surprise. A punk is a punk and a punk, and it looks like the Manzos are punks. I don't know what else to say. For a surprise? No, no. We'll see who's in for a surprise. We'll see who's in for a surprise. Just be careful with you know what? Chris. I'm gonna because... go outside and pray. Yeah, just don't don't let him start in with Chris. Chris is underage. Get stupid up in here. Let's put it this way. You left us nowhere to sit. So what did you expect? Because the man's wanna act like a freaking jerk horse. Okay. The man's over.